Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, March 17th, and today we're going to do a little painting or coloring with the song Snail Snail. I made a whole other video with lots of movement and singing and playing, so if you look below in the description, you can find that video um, on my channel. Just click the link in my description. For now, go grab some markers or crayons, anything that you can color with or paint with, um, and meet me back here in like a second. <laughs> See you soon! All right, did you gather some supplies? You should have paper, something to write with, and some crayons or markers or paints, something to color with. I actually don't have any crayons or markers, I realized, but I do have pastels, which are kind of like crayons, a little bit messier, and watercolors, so I'm going to be using that. I got my water, my palettes, my paints, and my brushes. Oop, I don't have my brushes. I'll be right back. Do 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 Okay, now I've got my brushes and a towel to wipe them on. And I'm ready to begin our little art project. So, we have been inspired by the song Snail Snail this morning. And so I realized that we could use this song to make a beautiful little picture of a springtime snail. You can even draw in a musical way if you want a little challenge. Remember that pattern from high to low? It went snail, 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 snail. As we sing and draw, try and make your crayon or marker or pencil match that. If you want to start with a pencil so that you can erase and try again, that's fine. Um, feel free to pause this video and go back as you need. I'm going to use this black um, piece of oil pastel so that you can see it because pencil doesn't really show up on my computer. So anyways, so let's sing and draw a nice big snail shell. Leave some room to the side for the snail's little body and uh, we'll add that in a second. Try and fill up the about half of the paper or so. Starting at the top, snail, 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 go around, around, around. Can you see it? We got it. There we go. So I'm going to make it just a little thicker by just going over it again. Snail, 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 go around, around, around. How about that? Now, to finish our little snail, bring the top of the shell down a little bit so that it's not quite halfway down. And then you got to create a space for his little head to pop out of, or her little head. So just kind of make this line connect down here by adding a little curve like that. See? And now we've got a space for our snail to pop out of. And since I'm using pastels, I'm going to switch because I want my snail's body to be a different color than its shell. Um, I'm thinking a purple snail today. I'm wearing purple, so we'll do a purple snail. If you're still using pencil, then you can just go in and color it later. All I'm going to do is draw kind of a curvy line, one, one little curve, kind of like a backwards letter J, going out and up like this. And then I'm going to do kind of a bigger version of that, going out and up here. This snail is going to have a big shell and a little tiny head. It's going to be so cute. <laughs> And continue that. Oops, draw my music stand up. And now I'm actually going to turn these into its little, um, most people think they're antenna, but they're actually called eye stalks. Their little eyes are on the ends of what look like their antenna. It's so cute. So I'm going to leave these kind of sticking up to be its eye stalks, and I'm going to draw kind of a, a U shape right here to kind of finish its little head. Whoop. Hmm. There we go. And I'm going to draw two little circles on top of each little eye stalk to be its eyes. And if you want to add a little smile, or maybe it's a grumpy snail. Though I would say snails love 
wet weather. They love the rain, and it, today it is a rainy day, so I'm going to make it a happy snail because it loves the rain. I'm going to add a smile and some pupils for the eyes. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you at home are using markers or crayons, I would suggest choosing a darker color for this next part. Um, if you are using pastels like me, we can do what's called a resist together. We're going to keep using our pastels for a little while and then um, go in with our watercolors later. Um, so yeah, go ahead and choose a nice bright dark color or if you're a pastel user, choose whatever you choose, <laughs> whatever you'd like. And let's decorate our snail's body and its shell. So I think I'm going to decorate its body with some spots. You know, I think I would like some lime green spots instead of blue. And I'm going to make them kind of oval spots. Snail, 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 go around, around, around. And I think I'm going to go in and make the lines of its body just a little thicker because I just realized you can't see them very well. And I want them to sh really show up in my picture. Snail, 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 go around, around, around. And let's make that eye stalk come down a little bit more so it's not going off the edge of the page. There we go. Now I'm going to add some designs to the shell as well. Ooh, these pastels are messy. Um, I'm thinking, ooh, let's do a nice bright light blue. You know, I know another song about snails, so I'll sing it while I add in. I'm thinking I'm going to add in some stripes. It goes like this. It's based on a very old folk song. I learned it in Girl Scouts, though. The original words are different, but the version I learned has words about a snail. It goes like this. Snail, snail, got to be fed. First your feelers, then your head. Then your mother and your father will feed you fried mushrooms. Snail, snail, got to be fed. First your feelers, then your head. Then your mother and your father will feed you fried mushrooms. All right, so I've added some decoration. Oh, sorry, that's a little wobbly. Let me show you up close a little bit. And I've drawn in my snail with some nice bright colors. Hopefully you've chosen nice dark colors if you're using markers or crayons because now what we're going to do is we're going to go fill in the rest with fill in its, the rest of its shell and its body with some more color. Um, again, if you're using markers and crayons, it'll pop best if you use a lighter color for this one since you used darker for the, the other decorations. If you're using watercolor... Ah! I just spilled everything. Oh, well, I'll get it when I'm done. <laughs> oh, all my pastels are everywhere. Anyways, <laughs> if you are using watercolor and pastels like me, uh, still a lighter color will show up better, will work better in this case, but you can kind of go with whatever you think will match your snail best. Um, so I've got my water. I'm going to put down a towel because I... I really love the tablecloth that's on my table and I don't want it to get stained. And I have this kind of, I'll show you again. It's a black outline shell with a purple snail. I think I'm gonna continue making its body purple. And then it's got green spots and blue stripes and I haven't decided yet what I want the shell to be. We'll just see in a second, see? Okay, let's, I'm just definitely going to continue with the purple. I need a paintbrush. 
use kind of a medium paintbrush. Do, do, do. And since I'm using watercolors, I have to kind of wake up the paint by just dabbing a little water on it and gently kind of brushing it around. There we go. So if you are using pastels and watercolors like I am, like I said, this is called a resist. And it's because the pastel is made out of oil and it makes kind of a, almost like a fence that the watercolor can't really escape through very easily. Um, so it just adds a cool effect because the pastel is very bold and the watercolor is usually pretty gentle. So, ooh, that's dark purple. Interesting. So even though I'm kind of brushing over the spots, they still show up, even though green and purple don't quite go together. My spots are still going to show up. It's kind of hard for you to see that. What if I turn out this light? Let's see. This is a learning process for everybody. How's that? Does that help? Not really. A little bit. Just adjust brightness. Okay. Maybe that will help. Mm. Oh, so I was singing you that other snail song. Let me sing it for you again, and then um, I can actually show you something cool about that song. So it goes, snail, snail, got to be fed. First your feelers, then your head, then your mother and your father. We'll feed you fried mushrooms. Like I said earlier, that song is actually based on an old, old folk song from England. Um, and it, it went like this. Hey ho, nobody home. Meat, nor drink, nor money have I none. Yet shall we be very merry. Hey ho, nobody home. People used to sing it when they were kind of out caroling and things. And I have another special fact about that song, but first I gotta pick a color for this shell. I've finished the snail's body. See? The spots still show up. I love it. The little eye stalks are so cute. And now, pick a color for its body. I think. Mm, I'm going to start with yellow. I might go add in some other colors in a second since I'm using watercolors. Um, it's fun to kind of mix watercolors around, but I'm just going to start with regular yellow. So, anyways. I was talking to you about um, that old, old folk song. It's called Hey Ho Nobody Home. Um, but if you are in my choir, or if your brother or sister is in my choir, they know another version of that song. People love to rewrite songs with new lyrics. Um, this version is called The Peace Round. Peace like creating peace in the world, not like a piece of pie. <laughs> And it was, the words were written by a very famous singer from Kentucky named Gene Ritchie. Kentucky's not far from here. Um, so I'll sing that for you now. It's a beautiful, beautiful song, and the words are, are very, very nice. It goes like this. What a goodly thing If the children of the world could dwell together in peace. What a goodly thing if the children of the world could dwell together in peace. Beautiful song. Um, if you are one of my older kiddos, you've probably heard us. We've sung that before, at least in our fifth grade class we have. And our choir has sung it before. Yeah. Um, let's see. Adding some more yellow. <laughs> I like this kind of work where we take a song and use it to think of all sorts of ideas of other things to do with it. So let's see, today 
We have moved with snail snail in a way that matches it. We have written it down in the way a musician would. And now we've done an art project with it. And I'm thinking that after this, I might even make a segment um, for my friends who are learning about some part singing, second grade through fifth grade, that's you. We've all been doing lots of works with different kinds of rounds lately. And you can actually turn Snail Snail into a round. Let's sing Snail Snail again. I gotta get it back in my head. I've sung that other song so much. Let me see. There we go. Snail, 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 snail. Go around, around, around. Snail, 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 snail. Go around, around, around. Snail, 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 snail. Go around, around, around. Okay, so I finished coloring in my, ooh, <laughs> my snail's body and its shell. And I think I'd like to add a little more blue into that shell. shell. It's really yellow now. Um, so I'm going to add a little more blue, but I'm going to choose, oops, I have kind of a turquoise blue. So I think I'm going to choose that, see? And I'm only, I'm going to use, I'm going to wake it up with some water. And I'm going to kind of try not to get a whole lot of pigment, a whole lot of color onto my brush. Just like I want it to be really watery. And add a little bit to my stripes area. Oops. And, ooh, that's kind of a neat effect. It's kind of dripping a little bit. That's okay. And it kind of adds a greenish hue to the shell. And it'll kind of give it this really nice, I hope, seashell, snail shell kind of look where it's not all one color. It kind of fades from one color to the next. Kind of making it turn a, a grassy kind of green. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to add it to the edges here. Add a little more water because that's it's a little bolder than I wanted. And it kind of, that's the cool thing about watercolors. They blend really nicely. Sometimes that's not what you want, but in this case, it, it makes it really, really pretty. If you're using markers and crayons, and if you've, or if you've already finished, regardless of what are you, you're using, if you've already finished kind of coloring and everything, Add, where, where is your snail? Add some background. Maybe it's in a garden. Maybe it's crawling up my patio door. Is there a cat sniffing it like there was at the beginning of this video? Where is your snail? Are there other snails around? Does it have a whole family? Who knows? Let's see. Ooh, that's turning out really pretty. You can actually, ooh, you can see it better, too, on the camera. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I, I never said the date. Today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020, which me, means it's our first really official day of learning from home here in Hamilton County, Chattanooga, Tennessee. For those of you who don't know me personally, who are visiting us from other places. Um, again, I teach music in Soddy Daisy, Tennessee, which is near Chattanooga, which is where I live. And uh, yeah, we're doing online learning for almost the next month. It's going to be a big adventure. And so I'm planning, I have all sorts of ideas for things to do with my students and anyone else who wants to join. Everybody is welcome. Uh, it doesn't matter how young or old you are, where you come from. I already have baby cousins joining me <laughs> and people from other places. Um, and that's the cool thing about music and art. It can give us a way to connect even in times where we're kind of apart from each other and isolated. It can help us connect even with people we don't know. All right, so here's the finished product. It's still a little drippy. <laughs> 
but you can see my resist. Later on, I'll probably add some background, but for now, I want to show you one more trick to do with Snail Snail. I was talking about it earlier, some part work, some part singing we can do. Snail, 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 snail. Hi everyone. So hopefully you finished your snail. Mine has, it's about five hours since I actually made the instructional part of this film. And so it's pretty much dry now. Um, and I think I'm going to just hang it on the wall. I was thinking about adding it, adding it onto some construction paper or something, but I don't know. It looks kind of nice right there. Let's see. Let me put it back a little further where you can see where I'll have it. It'll be in the background of lots of videos. There he is. Our little snail friend. I wonder what else we'll add over the next few weeks. One can only see. Hopefully I can figure out a way for you to share your snails with me over the next few weeks. Um, I'll let you know if I figure that out. For now, I am, the sun has come out. I can see out my window right now. The rain has finally stopped, so I think I can go out in the garden, see if I can find any other snails, and see what else I can do. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll be back later on today and tomorrow with some stories and songs for you. Have a good one.